Hello, Sonia. <laughs> Pardon? Oh, I'm terribly sorry, darling. How did you think it was Sonia? Well, I couldn't see your face. <laughs> Just a, a broad expanse of seat. Oh, and you think <laughs> my behind's as big as hers? Well, I haven't actually given it a lot of thought. Oh, you better start. I'll check next time she's round. Yes, <laughs> on second thoughts, you better not start. <laughs> oh. There. Oh. Why don't you save that up for your keep fit class? No, I'm doing overtime. I'm in training for a very big project. Oh, climbing Everest? No, cycling. Up Everest? No, you fool, to Brighton. Oh. It's a, a sponsored ride for the RSPCA. <laughs> I'll say this. Coming home to you is never dull. <laughs> Would you like a drink? Oh, no thanks. I've got to stay fit. 50 miles to Brighton. Oh, and we're getting 20p a mile. That's, uh... 10 pounds? Is it? Wow, I'm getting ten pounds from each of my backers. If you get there. Of course I'll get there. Well, how long have you got? A week? A day? A day you'll never make it. Oh, no, even if you go at a leisurely pace, you're there in five or six hours. Who says so? Well, our judo teacher. It's her class that's doing it. What, not the keep fit class? No, they're not fit enough. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but they'll all sponsor us. I think you're mad. Why? <laughs> I mean, you haven't been on a bike for years. No, I know, but you don't forget, do you? I mean, it's like... Uh... Riding a bicycle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you haven't even got a bike. Sonia's lending me hers. Oh, is she? She's no fool, is she? <laughs> you wouldn't find her doing it. Oh, well, as a matter of fact, we tossed up for it. Oh, she must have been pleased to lose, then. Well, actually, she won. You... I think I need another drink. Yes, <laughs> uh, William. Oh, evening, Nancy. Did you care for a drink? Uh, no, thank you, dear. I'm going out to dinner tonight, so no. I think I'd better wait. <laughs> oh, you, you seen Dad? No, that's a friend. Oh, do we know her? Uh, well, it's not a her, actually. Aye, aye. It's my bank manager. Oh, Mr. Broadstairs. Carstairs. Carstairs, sorry. <laughs> oh, that's lovely for you. I thought of bringing him back after us for a drink, and I wondered if you'd care to join us. Yeah, sure. Oh, you want to bring him back here? Well, yes, perhaps that would be a better idea. Yes, you don't want to whisk him up to the flat first date. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure that he brings you back sober. Oh, well, of course he will. He's very polite and well-mannered. Yeah, they're the ones you've got to watch. <laughs> He's on the point of retiring. With you? Esther. <laughs> no, he won't want to blot his copybook. I don't see why you should adopt this flippant attitude. He's a widower and perfectly entitled to ask me out. We're only teasing, Mother. Yeah, we'd be delighted to see him. <laughs> it's not so easy to make friends when you're single. So, I thought he might enjoy meeting the family. Good idea. We'll ask Guy as well. Don't you dare. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're going through Pearly, Rygate and Horsham. That means we don't hit the motorway. I'd rather you didn't hit anything. <laughs> you haven't got a lot of confidence in me, have you? I don't think you realise what you've let yourself in for. No, there's no point in doing it if it's easy. And it is the cause that's important. I mean, now, just think about all the poor animals in this country who are being starved or abandoned or ill-treated. I mean, they can't tell you about the misery and suffering in their lives. Look, they can't tell you about the terror they feel when they're put in a van and whisked off to a laboratory. They don't have a spokesman to say all those things for them. They've sure got one now, baby. <laughs> you. You're really getting cynical in your old age. Listen, I know all about your cause and I absolutely agree with it. In fact, I will make you out a cheque right now, a big one. Right, come on. If you promise not to go. Because I don't think you're going to stay the course. No. Make me sound as though I've got one foot in the grave. By the time you get to Brighton, it'll be two legs as well. <laughs> That'll be Mother. Oh, I'll go. You save your strength. Hello. Oh, come in, Nancy. Uh, <laughs> uh, may I introduce Mr. Carstairs? Yes, how do you do, Mr. Carstairs? How nice to meet you. And you, Mr. Fields. I hope you don't mind us calling at this hour. Not at all. Do go in. After you, Nanny, a, a penny. <laughs> Mrs. Penrose. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mother. Did you have a nice evening? Yes, delightful. <laughs> Mr. Gar says this is my daughter. Oh, how do you do? Good evening, Mrs. Field. <laughs> oh, do sit down. Thank you. Oops, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Plain to see that charm and beauty run in your family, Mrs. Penrose. Oh, you make me blush. <laughs> Would you care for our brandy, Nancy? Um, just a small one. Mr. Carr says? No, I don't think I would. Just a small one. <laughs> <laughs> sure. uh, not for me, darling. Oh, OK. You're not slimming, surely? Well, sort of. She's in training. 
Well, for what? Well, I'm going to cycle to Brighton. Oh, good heavens. What on earth? <laughs> Well, for the RSPCA. Oh, really? Mm. Uh, some of the girls in my class are doing a sponsored ride for um, 20p a mile. You're a keen cyclist, are you? Oh, no. I haven't been on a bicycle for years. <laughs> if you detect a streak of insanity in the family, Mr. Carr says it comes from her father's side. <laughs> I see. Your brandies. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you. Well, uh, I think we should all drink to your brave enterprise, Mrs. Fields. Oh, Cheers. Thanks. Cheers. <laughs> Well, perhaps we could add your name to the list of sponsors, Mr. Carstairs. Hester, that's not fair. It's putting Mr. Carstairs in a very invidious position. Well, why? He can refuse. Well, far from refusing you, Mrs. Fields, I will go further. Whatever you personally make, my bank will double it. Oh, well, that's wonderful. Most generous. Can you do that sort of thing? Oh, yes, if you're the manager and retiring in six weeks' time. <laughs> No, 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 thank you. I'm cycling. I mean driving. Oh. <laughs> Are you ever coming to bed? Oh, no, not yet. I haven't done a mile. What? Well, I'm barely through Roehampton. I've got to get to Wimbledon and then Perry. I think I may leave you at Wimbledon. <laughs> Come on, darling. You want me to succeed? I've got to do at least five miles every night. You couldn't do it with the lights out, could you? Oh, no, I couldn't do that. No. Why not? Might bump into something. <laughs> I think Nancy was right about the insanity in his family. Yeah. What do you think about that, Mr. Carstairs? He's all right. Think there's a romance budding there? What with Nancy? Hmm. Yeah, she's been alone too long. She wouldn't be able to cope with the change. No, I must admit I can't imagine living on my own. If you don't get off that bike in a minute, you will be alone. <laughs> no, but seriously, darling, if you were on your own for... Whatever reason. Would you remarry? I don't know. I might. Would you go for another redhead? No, no. I couldn't be that lucky twice. <laughs> <laughs> well, you might. No, I think I'd settle for um, a nice, quiet, small brunette. <laughs> Do you know any? No, not offhand. Well, where would you start looking for one, then? Singapore Airlines. <laughs> That is so obvious. <laughs> OK, would you look for Robert Redford, then? Oh, no. No, no, no. It's a bit much chunkier than that. Oh, Rambo? No. Long-distance lorry driver. <laughs> yeah, what? Why? Well, when they're next to you at the lights or in a traffic jam and, and they look down at you, give you a little thumbs up or a wink, you know, it makes, it makes you feel sort of feminine, doesn't it? Does it? Yeah. I mean, they look so powerful, set up there in their cabs, don't they? Oh. You've never mentioned this before? Yes, well, the subject's never come up before. So all these years you've been tucked up next to me, you've actually been dreaming of lorry driving? Oh, no. No, 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 no. I don't dream about them. I mean, it's not a fixation or anything. It's just when I happen to see one looking down at me. When he gives you the eye? Yeah. Mm. How often does this happen? Oh, about once a day. <laughs> No wonder you want to cycle to Brighton. <laughs> well, it's easier than flying to Singapore. <clears throat> come on, Hen. Come off that machine and come up here in the cab beside me. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Go on, lad. All right. I think I've done enough for the first night, anyway. Oh, going off water, not your totty. Come on in here. <laughs> Doesn't take much to chat you up, does it? <laughs> Yorkshire accent that does it. It wasn't Yorkshire, it was Scottish. Oh, was it? Well, try me with a bit of Yorkshire then. All right, lass. <laughs> Are you all right then? Yeah. <laughs> Would you like a bit of a Yorkie bar? Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. hey, you feel re jumping, yes, you know all right. that. Yes, it's very kind of you, but I'm afraid you're going to have to wait till after Sunday. Why? I'm in training. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. and giving it a good polish. It looks wonderful. And it's well oiled. Takes after its owner then. <laughs> Hop on and see how it feels. Yes. Should be about the right height for yes. you. Well, I won't really know till I've ridden it. 
Oh, I must say, feels funny after all these years. Well, take it for a spin now. Oh, no, William might be home in a minute. I'm in the middle of preparing a meal. Well, that's all right. I'll hold the fort. What can I do to help? Would you mind finishing the sprouts? Of course, no problem. All right, tell him I've taken it for a spin round the common, then. Right, off you go. Right. So long. Bye. Oh, I haven't checked the brakes. <laughs> Where does she keep the pans? Darling! In here! Hello, Sonia! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm terribly sorry. What do you think you're playing at? I, I, I thought you were Hester. But you said hello, Sonia. <laughs> did I? Yes, I did. I did. It was a Freudian slip. <laughs> Have you uh, moved in here permanently now? No. Hester's just gone out for a trial spin on the bike. Oh, I see. I think she's ever so brave, don't you? I think she's nuts. Well, she's a bit like St Francis of Assisi. I mean, do you remember the trouble I had that time with my tom-tom? Your what-what? My cat. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> well, I reckon she did as much to nurse him back to health as the vet. She's simpatico with animals. Yeah, but not with bicycles. Now, how'd you turn this on? Listen, I don't mind you borrowing our sprouts, but do you have to cook them here as well? <laughs> May I use your telephone? <laughs> Three to nine four. Uh, oh, uh, little boy, don't meddle with my pedal, please. <laughs> I think this is one of those dirty phone calls. Uh, William? Ah. Uh, dear, could you please get the car out and come fetch me? Well, where are you, Rygate? The pond. Where's that? Round the corner. Ah, <laughs> you soon got tired, didn't you? Oh, no, I didn't. What is it, then? I've got a puncture. <laughs> Get the I won't be long. Don't burn the sprouts. <laughs> right. And you all look sweet. Upon the seat of the bicycle bee. <laughs> Darling, could you possibly load this in the car for me? Yeah, OK. Mm -hmm. I think you ought to have a good breakfast, though, before you embark on this marathon. No, no, I've had mine. You can get your own, huh? It's only 7.15. What's the rush? Well, we leave the common at 8 o'clock. So? It's only five minutes away. I'll load your bike on the roof rack and then I'll drive you there. It's all right, darling. I'll cycle. Now, look, you've got 50 miles to do today. There's no sense in doing 51. I'll, I'll drive you there. No, I'm not going to waste my breath arguing with you. I'm going by bike. You are going in the car. Look, why are you so stubborn? I am not being yes, stubborn. You are. All right, so I'm stubborn. I'm stubborn. But nowhere near as stubborn as you are with all your crazy causes. Oh. I mean, it's ridiculous. I think you're balmy. I still happen to love you. Oh. Well, that's different. <laughs> you don't often say that, do you? Hmm, not often enough. Uh, say it again, then. Why? Well, it's good for me. All right. You're balmy. <laughs> <laughs> ah, God! <laughs> good. 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 Can I have your attention, please, ladies? Thank you. Right, now this bus will mark the finishing post on the front of Brighton, and we shall travel back in it when it's all over. What about the bicycles? Well, they'll be in a separate van. Right, now, can I wish you all the very best of luck? Thank you. Well, girls, this is it. The weather could be more clement. And remember, there are no prizes for the winner. All you've got to do is get there. Are we all ready? Mrs Fields hasn't arrived yet. Well, she knows we've fully offered eight sharp. Perhaps she's changed her mind. Wouldn't blame her. It's a pretty stiff assignment at her age. <laughs> Saddle up, girls! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, excuse me. So oh, I'm sorry I'm late. You've only just made it. Yes, well, we had to find a garage. Don't tell me you've had trouble already. No, no, my husband <laughs> ran out of petrol. Good luck, Hester. <laughs> there we are. Now, don't worry about a thing, darling. We'll be at the halfway mark with a glass of champagne. Oh, I look forward to that. <laughs> are we all ready now? Oh, yes, yes. 
Good luck, girls. <laughs> Wagons roll! <laughs> <laughs> Ages ago, do you think she's taken the wrong turning? She can't have. It's a straight road. Here she comes. Oh, oh terrific, oh, darling! Oh. You're halfway there. You must be feeling dead shot. <laughs> well, dead anyway. No, well, yeah. point of day. You've done 25 miles anyway. There's no point in killing you. No, no, I'm all right. Give me some water. Well, look, get off the bike anyway. Oh no, are you kidding? The saddle is welded to my anatomy. Yeah. Have some shampoo. Oh no, 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 just water. Oh, I feel woozy enough as it is. Put some shampoos in there. It'll give you a boost. You'll be able to oh, take no. off like a rocket. Oh, oh lovely, Sonia. Oh. Well, have something to eat. Mm. Have a chicken then. They're mm. delicious. Mm. We'll put one behind your ear for later. Right, <laughs> oh, that's better. Right, now look, when we get there, we'll have a slap up meal, oh. right? Pike of bitter and shepherd's pie. All right. <laughs> Oysters, duck a la roll. Oh, right. <laughs> right? Yeah. Here we go. Brighton. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> oh, all right, behind. Uh, yes, I think so. Okay. Thank you, darling. Oh, okay. here we go. Off you go. Right. Oh, hi. Yes. Okay, buddy. And in view of your great success, I think we should make it an annual event. Absolutely. But I vote that next year we try and double the takings by cycling to Bognar. Where's Hester? <laughs> uh, what about the poor bloody cyclists? <laughs> We'd better drive back and pick up Mrs. Fields. Oh, she'll make it. But it's nearly five o'clock. I can't keep the bus waiting much longer. I'll take her back in the car. Don't worry. Here she comes. She's done it. <laughs> Come on, Hester. <laughs> Where have you been? <laughs> oh, dear. Stout work, Mrs. Fields. The class is proud of you. <laughs> How do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. She'll be okay when she's had a meal and a good rest. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, whatever you say, darling. Cheer up, Mrs. Fields. We've got some good news for you. Next year, we're setting our sights on Bogner. 
Feeling better after you bath? Oh, you bet. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I'll get that down, yeah. Thanks. Help you sleep. Mm. I don't think I won't have any problem doing that. I just hope I wake up again one day. <laughs> was it worth it? Oh, of course it was. I've helped to make hundreds of pounds. Mm. An aged 50 years. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, darling. You can enter me for the old Crocs race next year. What's that? Some of your fan club. <laughs> Just come to give you a vote of thanks. <laughs> yeah, well, I could do without it. Would you uh, just open the window and ask them to be quiet? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Would you mind being quiet, please? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Go on, get off! <laughs> I think they're Siamese. Well, they don't understand English, that's not true. <laughs> get ye off here! Ah, uh, I hope you haven't spoilt their fun. Oh, I don't care if I have. <laughs> Listen, how are we going to sleep? No, it's all right. Just, just give them a few minutes. They'll calm down. I think they're in love. Yeah, maybe. I think they're having their honeymoon in our front garden. <laughs> Quiet! Now, how would you like it if a giant voice shouted from on high when you were feeling amorous? I think all this activity has damaged your brain. <laughs> well, there's no point in going through the agony I went through today, oh. fighting for a cause, if you're going to abandon it when it comes to the crunch. I mean, those cats don't know they're disturbing us. They just know they're in love, and I happen to think that's rather beautiful. OK. I won't say another word. Uh, you can remember what it's like to be in love, can't you? Vaguely. I think these two are having a divorce. <laughs> Tom. Come along, Tom, Tom. You're a naughty boy. Come here. Come out of those bushes. You see, if we were kinder to animals, we'd be kinder to each other. I mean, we're only put on this earth once, and we have to learn to live and let live. And, and if those mangy moggies don't shut up, I'm going to drown them! That's a girl! <laughs> it's all right. It's only some... <laughs> 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 <laughs>